Hello, this is a quick uh, video on cutting out and using layer masks. Um, I am doing that on two rabbits. You can see one which is dark and has definite definition, the one which uh, I'll be using the pen tool on. So I'll be using the quick selection tool on the black one and a layer mask. It's important you bring up your layers when doing this so you can see your layers and also make sure that you have um, 300 dots per inch when you are doing this. So I have chosen A4 landscape and 300 dots per inch. Make sure you have rasterized both layers as well, which is very important. And you do that by going to layers and rasterize. Uh, I have already done that, but there's the rasterize option and you need to rasterize them, the smart object. Okay, so that means they are both editable now. Okay, with my layers, I'm going to be choosing the black uh, rabbit to do first of all with a quick selection and I can do that by just getting rid of the layer below by using the eye tool which I've explained before and the quick selection because it's a black rabbit will be quite easy to do so I start uh, in the corner making sure that my selection is, is selected and I'm adding what I'm doing is just dragging down quickly over the black rabbit you can see here now that that's gone into the grass and it's also not gone there. So I need to minus that selection so I can drag to the rabbit. In fact, I don't want that selection there and I want to add the selection. So that's the plus. I want to just add that little bit of black. And again, it's gone. So I need to minus that part until I've got it right. If it's not very precise, I could zoom in on that section. And you can see here, I can actually minus that selection by going to the lasso. And I can go to the polygonal and I can take away from that selection. So I want to actually take away from that part by just clicking around. And again, I can add to this part by going to the add thing there. So I'm adding to my selection and I want to add just this part here. So I can click around that bit of grass. Again, if it's not very precise, I can go back to the quick selection tool. Or I can lasso it a little bit as well. And I want to add again actually I want to take away so I can just do I'm taking away that section there so I've got most of my rabbit and I can see what that looks like by going to select and mask so there I can see that yeah I'm, I'm fairly happy with that uh, I want to smooth it down a little bit I want to feather it as well maybe a bit of contrast feather means it has softer edges so smart, softer edges and smoothing it a little bit and I might want to shift it in. You can see here how it's shifting out. I want to shift my selection in a little bit so it looks kind of minus, minus 20. Okay and then I'm happy with that and then all I need to do is go onto the mask. So I'm going to be masking the selection. And I do that by going to this on your layers. So you need your layers up and you can go to mask. And you can see now that's actually quite a lot of grass still. So I maybe should have selected in a little bit. Um, but I can actually get rid of some of that by going to here and painting black into my, my now my mask. So my masking, I can actually get rid of some of that by going and painting in into my masked areas. It's much easier with a Wacom, which I am on, uh, to actually paint. But you can do this with also with a um, mouse. And if I make a mistake like that, I can always change it over and paint it uh, white. Because if you paint white into the selection, it will get rid of it. I mean, it will add to it. If I paint black, I'll get rid of it because that's the nature of the layer mask. 
Okay, so I would do that until I'm happy. But for this tutorial, I think that's okay. And my next tutorial will be about using the pen tool to do something similar.